So, let's get it powered up. I'm gonna first hook up this to the power pack, power pack to the track. Seem good. So, take apart this small section here. And underneath is where we're gonna plug it in. My first time doing it, let's see. Let's see if it's idiot proof, first of all. Yes, it is idiot proof. It'll only go in one way. Cool, so that's in. Let's get it out the side. <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and put this back in first. Great. And then this goes to the power pack. It's again DC, so we're gonna go over here. Clips in very nicely. Have it on off for now. Make sure that's all the way down, I suppose. And the power cord. Might be good to know that, um, I suppose we have about five feet of power cord. So I actually went and got an extension cord. We're gonna plug this in here. And then power it up. It's pretty slick how you can get the engines, etc., on all the cars onto the track. Just like that, that's pretty great. Oh, by the way, I did leave off two sections. So I did keep the track small for this little space. So, wow, are we gonna, I think we can go right away. Um, Let's check it out, put it on forward. <laughs> forward, it's going backwards. Reverse. It's going forward. So I assume that's a, a DC thing. So the current must go just one way. So we're learning. Anyway, I'm gonna flip this around. Now we'll put it on forward. Oh yeah, we're rolling now. Well, I am absolutely excited about this. Here's the uh, power, the speed. Of course you have forward um, stop or brake. I've seen it called brake before. And then of course reverse. And um, leave in the comments too, is that okay that I kept the power on? and then switched it forward, stop, reverse. That'll be good for a beginner to know. Is that gonna be okay or am I putting too much pressure on the little motor or, or something else? Otherwise, speed it up, slow it down. I'm excited to go slowly, especially once all the other cars are on, but let's test it out, huh? That's full speed. And it doesn't look or feel like it's gonna go flying off the tracks, which is nice to know after spending a little bit of money on something like this. So let's test the braking out. So full speed to just off. 
I don't like to power it up like that. And then full speed to off with the, the dial seem to be about the same. So you gotta check out how easily these go on and how smooth and I don't know, to me it just sounds so cool. Once again, as a beginner, um, <laughs> I'm probably setting these up wrong because we have the observatory car, would you call it? That's going to end up being right by the engine or the locomotive, which probably isn't right because uh, for various reasons, I'm sure of it. So that was the railer. <clears throat> um, haven't done this yet. Maybe I can zoom in for you. And just like that, get this guy over here. Oh, shoot. So this one came off the rails. Get that back on. Pretty sweet. And then the fun part. I'm going to back the train up. And let's see if we can get her to connect. All right, here she comes. Did I get it? Nope. All right, another good time for all you pros to tell us, you know, what tips do you have for this? Do I just need to go quicker? Or does it just not happen very easily? Oh yeah, look at that. Got it. Well, I am once again very excited about this. Once again, I don't like going fast, but it's good to know that they're not gonna, it's not gonna derail right away. So this is full speed. I think more realistically, I'll be at about this speed.